Hello everyone and welcome to another deck profile. Joining me here today is Travis. Hey guys. He played in the Back to Duel League and he finished, where did you finish Travis? Uh, second overall. Nice. And with Drytron, which is the deck he took, he performed pretty well. Undefeated, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh, the deck performed really well. Really good. Mm -hmm. Really solid deck. Yep. And the one week where you didn't perform well was when you took the live twin deck. Evil, yeah. Yeah, first week we took evil twin. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, we don't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> And um, first of um, all, before we continue, I just want anyone who's watching this, if you want singles at a great price, make sure to check out Jam Jam Cards UK. Do great deals at great prices. So get your Yu Gi Oh stuff. Take us off, Travis. Oh, cool. so obviously we played Drytron because, you know, we can't afford uh, Brave Cards. So, of course. Uh, for the main deck. We played Triple Alpha, Triple Zeta, uh, Triple Gamma. Some people play two, but it's it's so good. You just want to see it. It mm. lets you play through Nib. So, yeah. Uh, and then two Delta. So okay. a decent stack of Drytrons. We're not playing Prosperity, so Delta's actually decent. Fair. Um, but it's, it's it's very good at drawing Celestial, apparently. Um, but we don't talk about that. Okay. Uh, for the like Fairy starters. Uh, we played two Diviner and a Manju. So Diviner's obviously cracked. It's good for like Sending Entis and Herald. Mm -hmm. um, we like the Manju because Dweller's just like insane in this format. In the combo, you can make Dweller. So uh, that's that's pretty decent. And it, you know, everyone seems to just, if you summon a Diviner, everyone just stops it and it's like, I don't even need the Diviner. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, then we added the Orange Light. We we don't play much of the Fairy Package because it's kind of bad since Eve has gone. Yeah. Um, or in the combo, you can search uh, Orange Light, and like, at the point where they would nib you, like there's, there's just no good place in the combo to nib you. Um, so by the time that would be a good place for them to nib you, it's too late because you've already got the Orange Light, so it's, it's just a good one of. Yeah. Uh, Scythe, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's so easy to set up in this deck. Uh, Celestial Plasma, uh, it's pretty standard, I think. I, I do kind of dislike sometimes when like they'll banish your um, DPE and then you're forced to summon Celestial back and you can't Drytron. Mm -hmm. So there was like some argument in playing like double plasma. Yeah. But honestly this card was glued to my hand. Like the, <laughs> in the last week it was it was just it was glued to my hand. I opened it like like six games in a row and I was just like maybe I need to down rarity yeah. it. Or maybe it's a sign. It's time to swap. It is. <laughs> time time to swap. Uh, and then for the rituals, uh, we played two of the Megalith full. So the Megalith package is really strong. Yeah. Uh, one Ophiel and one Befor. Uh, just just being able to like Befor pop is just nuts. Being able to like bend ten multiple times is insane. Mm -hmm. um, it, I did some really nuts plays where like if I knew I wasn't playing into Nib, um, I'd like I'd have a leftover ritual summon. So I'd summon a bend ten back, then I just tribute the bend ten off board, search the. Um, orange light, and then I'd have an orange light live as well. Uh, yeah. So that was that was just nuts. It's really good. Uh, ben ten, obviously, either ten. This card is decent. I don't play a uh, Beatrice, but it's it's just it's still good to have like an extra body. Yeah. Uh, Natasha, this card is nuts. Natasha is so good. I wasn't playing this for the longest time, but in in time and just taking cards like and against an Eldritch player, I was just I was just like I'll take your Golden Lord. <laughs> um, <laughs> then all the traps do nothing. It's, it's just it was it was so good. Yeah. Uh, and then. The one uh, meeting us tracking it. So this is, is what we do when we get drolled. Uh, we tend to go for this plus uh, the Mubeta. Yeah. Um, this card is is also really good. Um, it just like attacks all special summon monsters, which a lot of people don't realize. And then um, it can't it can't be uh, targeted by monster effects as well. So that's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. That's it for the monsters. Okay. Um, it's pretty decent lineup. I probably wouldn't change anything. Um, I mean, it works pretty well for like siding patterns and stuff. Fair. For the spells, we've got the one Fafnir, uh, the one ritual spell. You could arguably arguably play two, but like a lot of people have dropped like DD Crow and stuff, and like yeah, it, it's just, yeah, people just take out spell and drop removal and yeah, this yeah, format. Yeah. I mean, co cosmic's about, but like, I mean, okay, yeah, I guess cool. it would hurt if they change cosmic 
but like yeah well, I mean the decks still that I think because of the like there's some hands where like you don't even have dry trons and like you you can still like pretty much full combo it's it's hilarious it's it's so good yeah uh, triple nova some people play two of this but I completely disagree this card is yeah. so good definitely like, um, the best dry trom card it's 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 just it's just insane it's just definitely. too good um like especially uh, there's like this one Eldritch player that I, <laughs> was in the event and he was playing uh playing the Spectre border. <laughs> Um, so you just activate this, summon and kill it, and then you can just full combo. Um, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, that, that played against the Draco player as well. Play against a Draco player, he had he had a board, and I was just like, summon this, slap, now you're dead. Uh, triple Emergency, hand-picking Drytrons is really nice. Yep. Uh, the Foolish, I actually really, really like the Foolish, because uh, mm -hmm. if you're missing like a ritual, you can send it, if, like, just say they stop the alpha, yeah. This is something that happened, like, everyone would just keep stopping my alpha summon. Mm -hmm. So I just, like, foolish, and then ritual back from grave, and then and then combo. It was kind of funny. And, like, because full adds back, as long as you get to the full, you always have Benton access, so that was kind of nice. Yeah. Then the call by, it's it's too good not to play. Hand traps suck. Mm -hmm. uh, triple droplet, again, in this deck, it's, it's extra free, because they all just come back from grave. Yeah. And that, Super I know, free in this like, they, yeah. Obviously, based are playing a... Uh, playing bell and they can like search it. i know there's like the uh there's like the free axis base deck that searches bell yeah which is kind of funny um but yeah this deck just it just plays through stuff it's pretty good and then double fusion destiny some people say play one mm -hmm. uh it's nice it's just so nice drawing it's, it sometimes it is just nice to draw isn't it? yeah like not having to make the verte is, is just really nice mm -hmm. um yeah so i think it i think the deck is 40 I think mean, it's forty-one or forty-two. Okay. Um, but again, I wouldn't change anything. I think the main deck's pretty much perfect, to yeah. be honest. Look pretty solid. Uh, extra deck. We play the one arc light. The, obviously, the send. Mm -hmm. The one entis. The send. Yep. Uh, we play two Fafnir. Yeah. You can't. You, like you have to play two. Like arguably, I'd want to play three, but there just isn't. There just isn't space. Understandable. Um, because there's sometimes when like. Turn one, you'll make a Fafnir, it'll get like Veiled, and then you can't like detach from it. Yeah. So then you have to make a second Fafnir, mm -hmm. and then in your follow up turn, because you ain't killing them then. Yeah. Um, in your follow up turn, like, uh, you you have you don't have a Fafnir to make, so you have to do some really awkward plays. Uh, the Dweller, Dweller is just is so good. Yeah. Um, it's, it's it's insane. I, lo I love Dweller. You can make like Dweller full into Bethel with DP, Scythe, and it's just like, yeah, you, you have fun playing. Uh, Downard, obviously, for the Zeus. Yep, uh, one Link Karibo. Mm -hmm. Card's too good. Some people play Anima, but you can like summon Link Karibo back from Grave, and it's yeah, yeah. it's it's kind of it's actually quite nice. Uh, like sometimes when you like leave a Dagdo on board, um, and then your opponent will go battle, uh, try to go battle phase. You summon this back, and then they just can't. And then they can't kill the Dagdo themselves, mm -hmm. so it keeps it on board. That came at once. That's, that's cool. Uh, and then I think there was another time when I had like a Verte. Um, I'd verte and I managed to keep my verte on board, which was also kind of nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, Phoenix, Unicorn, Access, Appalooza. Some people play uh, Barone because you can, um, reborn Scythe. if they're level four, you can, yeah, you can, like reborn Scythe to play around droplets, but also mm -hmm. you, it, you can like make it before they'd be able to nib you. Yeah, but I just thought like it's, oh, I don't own Barone, but it's also like I was, I was testing it, I was like, I just don't like it. like Fair enough. It's super weak to like other things, and then obviously the the king DP. It's like best, it's best card, best card of the format, best really, card, isn't baby. it? It's so good. So I mean, it's really tight. There's, I don't think there's anything that I'd change. I, I was debating maybe cutting unicorn, mm. um, but it's 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 so nice for like yeah. the access code lineup. Yeah, um, kind of need it for the access line. Yeah. And then side deck is probably the clutchest part of this. I, lo I love this side deck. It's it's That's very cool. nice. So back row hate. We've got the reboot. Oh. I actually kind of, I actually sort of don't like the reboot at the moment. Like, I don't know. I, sometimes I wish it'd be a different card. Don't know what it would be though. Uh, triple Denko. This card is so nice. Mm -hmm. I love Denko. You just side out some of your normal summons. You get the Denko, and then you just like, oh, what's that? Your Denko second. You. you can't use any traps versus prank kids. They don't have a DP on board. You just summon this. 
Oh, wow. um, and it's like, Congr- <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> you've got two set pandemonium oh, and you're dead. <laughs> it is so, it's so nice. And like with Befo as well, you can just like, you got, I had like a uh, versus the Draco player, I went like summon Denko, um, make, make a dweller, and then Befo. So just everything engraved and nothing. And then, mm-hmm. yeah, it was just GG's. Uh, the one duster, again, it's, it's duster. Oh. The, this, I know, I it's so it. clean. But I love to oh, see it. Yeah. Uh, triple cosmic again. It's it's too good. Mm-hmm. Um, I was playing a point with the red lotus, but it's I kind of hate it. Yeah, not needed. Uh, because really. anything, any, anything you'd want to hit, that you just they just chain it. To be honest. Yeah. Uh, so we went with the mystic mine package, yes, which is actually sir. very nice in the stack. Um, we were playing three Mystic Mine for a little while, then we cut it for the terraforming just so that we have extra utility. Yeah. Because sometimes we don't want a Mystic Mine. It's um, so true. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's, it's kind of nice, but it's nobody, no one, unless, unless they're like terrible at the game and you just win that, <laughs> you win those duels anyway. Like mm-hmm. nobody is, uh, nobody is siding in spell and trap removal versus Drytron. So yeah. it's kind of, I had one player that like sided in Duster and I was like, wow, <laughs> okay. <Whoa. laughs> What a chat. They, they, they used Duster and they popped my scythe and I was just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, then I, and then I just got a D, and then I just had a DP for free and I was like, okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> the one Lancia, so this is just it's just nice. You can search mm-hmm. it. It's, uh versus like the Sword Soul matchup, it it comes up you, like you can scythe and uh yeah. Lancia them and it's just like they can't do anything. Uh, then the last is Triple Lava Golem. Again, this deck doesn't really need its normal summon. Yeah. And Lava Golem is is so nice versus like the hyper combo decks. Yeah. Uh, there was one one play when I like I was playing against a brave PK and I just Lava Golem and then it activated <laughs> Mystic Mine and just, and just oh, sat there man. until I could kill them. Oh, it was God. so nice. Jesus. Just like yep, yeah, like your cards have no value. So. Absolutely disgusting. That is the deck. So Which any like changes you would make? Up. I was thinking about like potentially taking the mines out mm. because like this is like you get rewarded if your opponent is like bad, but, mm-hmm. but like usually like especially with like sixty card decks, you ain't just winning by deck out, and like this isn't a deck that will just OTK somebody. Like some people play like Bowl Sword, and that like, allows you to OTK, but with access. Just have to do some weird, weird stuff. So I, I, I don't know about the mines at the moment, but I think it's very solid. Main decks again, it's it's good. Extra deck, probably gonna tinker with it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, yeah, I really like it. It's uh, it's very solid. The, the number of games I, I should have had a tally for how many games. Like I opened Alpha Zeta so much. Oh. Like that, it's just it's not. You love to see um, it. Yeah, very yeah. good. Any shout outs? Um, uh, shout outs, obviously, Mini Fez, oh, yes. uh, Prank Kids King, <laughs> gotta shout him out. Shout out Red Lotus, mm-hmm. all that squad. Uh, shout out, uh, Wiggly's Gum, keeping Fez's breaths smelling <laughs> fresh. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, shout out Jam Jam Cards, doing bits with Fez. We'd love to see it. Um, yeah, that's it, really. Okay, thank you for doing this profile. Um, More than welcome, lad. Make sure. As I said earlier, check out Jam Jam Cards UK for some great deals. Uh, leave a like and subscribe for some more profiles, other content. Check out our series that we're doing together. We dropped it's episode lit. one earlier, episode two soon. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one. I want to see you in slow motion. Come stay the night, we can stay up till it's bright. In the morning, got the top open.